Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be installing some new drapes as well as unboxing our new dining room table. I ordered it from a company online and it came in about two weeks i would say and it came on a saturday so i'm going to go ahead and start unboxing it and my husband is going to put it together over to the side while i kind of move the tables out the way and get some of the items he will be needing to put the table together i'll be getting those items together i originally was going to try to put the table together and it was really simple it's just that the base is really heavy the top of the table is not so heavy though and i absolutely love this table I love the color. I have been eyeing it for a while and I finally decided to go ahead and pull the plug on it. I was I was undecided between this one and another one and I still love the other one because you can sit more people at the table or should I say seat more people at the table. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way so we can slide this table out of the way and move the new one in place and this table i'll put the measurements on the screen but uh the new table you'll see in just a second as i said it will only seat eight people all the way across or the way it's designed you can only do uh four across and maybe two king and, and queen or some call them captain chairs so uh or you can do four on the side or you can do eight all the way across so i decided to use four of the dining chairs i have and then we're going to use the two captain chairs on the end and the following monday right before i went to work my drapes arrived and this video is being sponsored by Two Pages Curtains. I selected their Liz Collection Triple Pleat Ivory White with the 250 GSM lining. In today's video, I'll only be hanging one set of curtains in my dining room area because I don't have enough curtain rings to hang them all. So I do have a set for the dining room as well as the living room, and they are matching. Of course, you know I have an open floor plan, so I do like for these two areas to really coordinate and even blend into the next uh, space. So the cool thing about their... Um, their pleated curtains is that they're going to come with the adjustable clips. I'll show you a closer up picture or a little bit of how I installed the clips a little later, but I want to go ahead and get these clips on and I'm going to hang them and I will need to adjust them because when I measured my windows, I didn't measure my window like I would normally do. I actually measured the curtain that I already had. So I'm going to be off by a quarter of an inch. And that's going to be fine because I ended, I did order some more curtain rings. And the curtain rings I have are two inch curtain rings. So I can use a one and a half inch curtain ring, which is going to bring my curtains closer to the curtain rod. So we're not going to have an issue. When I got through hanging these curtains, my curtain was actually touching the floor. And I don't like them to touch the floor. I like them to really kiss the floor. So we'll be fine once the new curtain rings come in. And I ordered those from Ballard Designs. I did pick up a pair from target to see if they would work and targets are made differently and although theirs was ten dollars it only came with seven so i will get the ones that are 
at Ballard Designs like the ones I have now, except they're going to be smaller and they should fit. So we're going to go ahead and hang these curtains. And like I mentioned, they are heavy because I went with the thermal 250 GSM lining. So the box was even heavy. It wasn't something that I could pick up. I actually had to slide it. All right, so here is a close-up view of the adjustable clips and they can slide all the way off if you adjust them too far and basically you just open them up and you slide them right into the little gap that where the pleat is and the little clip on the back will adjust up and down according to the length that you need it. So I think I went down like four notches. I think you can go anywhere from um, one to 10 notches down. So I went four notches and just to give it a little bit room on the floor, like I said, it will be touching the floor and I'm perfectly okay for now because I do know that once my curtain rings come in, we're not going to have that issue. And of course, once I hung them and seen them, they turned out. I mean, they look absolutely gorgeous. I even closed them that night and took down my um, blinds. These curtains or drapes were really easy to order and select. You just basically measure your windows and you go through the little steps and it will tell you how many inches you need. And I placed the order just like you would. So I was able to go through the same process that you all would go through if you were ordering some curtains. So I'll leave a link in the description for anyone who's interested. And here is a clip of some of the different fabric color choices you have to choose from. So basically you select your fabric, your lining. I also ordered a swatch for the lining. So I went with the heavier one. So I ordered my swatch samples before I even selected which color fabric I wanted to go with. They also have a teal line. There's a couple other lines to choose from, so be sure to check them out. I'll leave the link in the description. And one more thing before I forget, I did run the numbers on some of the uh, drapes I had made in my home. I worked with the seamstress. I had to buy the lining and of course the fabric and she made them. And actually I would have saved some money had I gone with two pages. So two pages have several different colors and shades to choose from as well as they have that decorative fabric tape. So you can personalize them a little bit more if you decided to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish steaming these drapes. I tell you, this, this steamer was the best investment I made. I used to use an inexpensive one when I first started my YouTube channel. I've always had a steamer or I use an iron, but I invested in this steamer. And of course, you know, I use it for a lot of things. And most definitely, I had to pull it out for these drapes. And after I seam these drapes, I tell you, 
it took these drapes up to a whole nother level. They look like they were actually dry clean, especially with the lining on them. It gave it that, that luxurious look that you all know I love. All right, so here is the final look of the dining room table. As you can see, this dining room table really took my space up another notch. I absolutely love this dining room table. The only downfall is that you can only have four chairs with the captain chairs. Now, if I didn't have the captain chairs, I could definitely see eight. So I would put four chairs on one side and four on the other, but it's okay. I absolutely love this table enough that I was willing to sacrifice that option. So here's the final look of the space. As you can see, I did go ahead and remove the older uh, drapes from the living room area. And here I wanted to show you a closer up look of my bookshelf. I did add those little lights that I usually use, the battery operated lights over in the bookshelf. So I absolutely love the way the space has come together. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you to Pages for sponsoring today's video. And I'll leave a link to the curtains that I have in the description. Feel free to ask questions if you need to. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. My new light fixture should be in next month. So I'm so excited about that. And then I have an outdoor video coming up soon too. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.